like, subscribe, comment, hit me. <laughs>
This is the best German Shepherd you'll ever meet. She is so sweet. Yes. Callie, sit. 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 No, I didn't say play. Come here. Sit. Lay. Lay. Okay, she's just super excited to be on camera right now. So, um, but yeah, sorry to go off track there. Just uh, letting you know a little bit about me. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. I keep saying super excited. I wonder how many times I said it. Um, but back to what the video was about. So this video is about what actually changed up my putting game. Uh, I would say a few months ago, maybe a little bit longer. And it's something I started doing that actually uh, helped my putts to be much smoother and less wobbly. Uh, because before I would always putt and it would just be like super wobbly. Um, it wouldn't cut through the wind. Um, and a lot of times I would, it, it just was so hard for me to get the distance that I really wanted to as well. I'm not really a, um push putter or spin putter i think i think i'm like both uh the high high bro whatever was it high high bro uh what's the word um hybrid that's it yeah uh <laughs> all right so um so in this video i'm gonna show you um what it looks like when i'm not doing um this technique um and then i'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like when I am uh, just so you can kind of see the difference you actually won't be able to see the see what I'm doing until I tell you so stay tuned in the video um, after all that I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing that's causing the disc to be much smoother and not so wobbly um, all right let's get to it and by the way um, I use many different putters, uh, so you're not going to see like the same putter over and over. Um, I use these for different shots, distances, and such. So, um, but yeah, here we go. And by the way, you won't ever see me filming or standing on that side of the yard because that's where my dog like takes the dump all the time. So uh, yeah, if you see me walking over there trying to uh, avoid stepping on something, that's the reason why. All right, okay, so now you see how really wobbly that was. Let me show you the method that I use to make it much smoother. Or let me show you what it looks like and then I'll tell you what I did. Alright, so as you can see, um, there probably were some shots where I was using the method but it was wobbly, but that was because I wasn't fully uh, committing to this method. Um, but the ones that you saw that were really smooth, it was because I was actually doing it. It's something that um, over time you may have to just develop that muscle memory for to remember to do. But, uh, but yeah, so basically uh, what I do is... 
hopefully I'm in view. But all right, so normally when you hold a disc, uh, you know, most people do like a fan grip. This is how I grip the disc, right? Um, but a lot of people, what the what causes the wobble to happen is when they're gripping or when they're releasing, these fingers right here are not putting enough pressure against the disc. Um, so it's kind of like you're delivering a, or serving up a plate or well, I think a lot of people have said that like just kind of deliver it out um, but yeah if you if you don't put that pressure here it's gonna it just leaves more room for the disc to move like um, it's minute but it, it'll still move um, in your hand when it's too loose um, and especially if like if you're made if you're really gripping on here but you're not gripping on here when it comes out it's just you're not pushing up against that plate to keep it level so what uh, what you got to do is just the whole time through what I do is I, I just kind of focus on the pressure of my fingers more than the pressure of my thumb and my index finger because um, I feel like naturally uh, because of how long I've been playing and most of you that are watching this have probably been playing for a, a while uh, but naturally you're gonna go you're already putting pressure between your thumb and your index finger so if you really if you really just focused on these uh, fingers here and just make sure that you're putting that pressure upwards against the plate and and do it all the way through you'll find that you'll start getting much smoother putts and um, yeah and you'll start actually looking like you know what you're doing so um, again I'm not a pro don't know the science behind this don't know why it just it works for me that's how disc golf is and um, some things work for people some things don't for others so I hope this helps somebody um, if you like this video please make sure to comment below and let me know if it worked out for you because I am curious to find out if if this is just a me type thing um, or if it actually works for everyone else and um, if this is already a thing that people should know let me know um, but yeah if you enjoyed the comment or but yeah if you enjoyed the content uh, make sure you subscribe uh, hit the notification bell so you can get um, notified for our, all of our upcoming videos and um, yeah we're gonna be putting out a lot of content and it's not just going to be like things like this it's going to be a wide variety of different stuff um like we're going to have we've already done like a doubles tournament um we did a chase the ace uh which you can check the link above if you want to check that out or you can check the doubles link right here this is my first time doing the pointy thing hopefully it's uh working in the right timing uh, but yeah um it's pretty cold out here pretty windy so I'm gonna be wrapping this up so I don't get sick because I have to take care of my kids and uh, yeah love y'all subscribe first available tree fat disc off uh, stay tuned and we'll be bringing some more content for you guys all right peace